Welcome to the Transform Your Wedding Podcast, a how-to guide for taking your wedding to a whole new level. Here's your host, Marie Kubin from Rent My Wedding. Hey everyone, today we're talking about DIY wedding flowers. I'll be chatting with Lisa Rouser, the CEO of 50 Flowers. Lisa disrupted the flower industry during a Peace Corps trip to Ecuador. She founded Farm Exports in 1998 and 50 Flowers in 2003 to export florals directly from farms to consumers. Lisa is an internationally recognized floral expert and she's been featured in conferences and media around the world. So I'm really excited to chat with Lisa and share some of her great tips about how you can save money on your wedding with DIY flowers. Thank you so much for having me today. Yeah, well, I'm really excited to talk with you because we all know that hiring a florist is not in everybody's budget. And you guys have this amazing do-it-yourself option where you can actually still get the look of fresh flowers, but without breaking the bank. Absolutely. That's what 50 Flowers is all about. We were the disruptor back in 2001. We started shipping flowers direct from our growers to help um, DIY couples um, use fresh flowers in their wedding instead of silk floral or not even having flowers at all. Wow, amazing. And how did you get started with the company? Tell me a little more. Well, I was in Ecuador working on some flower farms and saw this niche of getting flowers from our farms down in Ecuador with um, an overnight shipping company to the doorstep. And when I first started the company, I wanted to sell luxury gifts for corporate gifts and, you know, I pitched like car, you know, you buy a car, get 50 roses. And then um, very quickly saw that this dream of allowing, you know, couples to have fresh flowers and everyone thinks that it's unattainable. It's way too expensive to have flowers. And my dream is that everyone should have flowers in their environment. If you're a DIY couple or if you're just in your household confined because of COVID with your kids, you should have flowers around because flowers reduce stress. So, yes, yes, I totally agree. That's always been something I think is so important is to know that couples can still have a beautiful, amazing wedding, no matter what their budget is. So just because you're on a smaller budget shouldn't mean that your wedding can't be every bit as amazing as anyone else's. So it's all about finding the ways to save money and finding these little tips and tricks like your company, 50 flowers. Absolutely. 100%. That is, I mean, it's a, it's your one day, you know, it's your special day and flowers are one of, you know, it's the beauty. You know, when you take a picture, you're always going, your, your, your eyes are going to focus in on the bouquet that you're holding. And sometimes we, we feel as though we cannot, you know, uh, the couples believe that they can't afford them. You can't afford them. And it, it's buying with 50 flowers or not, you can still afford fresh floral in your website. We make it easy for you though. We've really, I mean, this has been, we're, we were the pioneers in this industry and, you know, we might not have all the bells and whistles that, you know, our website should have right now. We're in the process of doing that. But what we have is our passion for flowers and we have the most incredible flowers, top quality flowers you will find. And the long-term relationships with growers that um, it's, it's invaluable. And it's what, it's part of trust us with your flowers. Trust us at 50 Flowers to help you from day one. You know, all the 10,000 flowers that are out there and help you create the wedding of your dreams. Now, what types of florals do you guys all offer? Um, any flower that is commercially grown. <laughs> that sounds really kind of funny, right? Um, we offer over 4,000 flower individual products of fresh floral. And we also, um, we also offer floral kits as well as supplies. 
And you know, you can shop on 50 flowers by flower type, you can shop by color, you can shop by collection. And we have this really neat product to help the DIY couple, which is called Make This Look. And there we've taken our real live weddings and we have taken what they created along with their pictures that were submitted by their photographers and we've lined it up with each and every one of the products that they ordered for us. So we make it really simple for you to choose your flowers. Oh wow, I love that. So you can be totally creative and order everything piece by piece or just get a pre-made kit if you don't have that kind of skill set and you just want to be able to look at a picture and make what you see. So I love that you have so many Exactly. Ideas. And you know, let me tell you a little bit about the kits because this is a new product that I'm so excited about and we launched just um, a couple months ago. Um, it is our pre-made wedding collection and they are bridal bouquets to centerpieces to your bridesmaids, bridesmaids bouquets to corsages and um, boutonnieres and we have them in over 12 different looks or collections like a burgundy one and they come pre-designed in our design center in La Savana de Bogota and they're shipped to you pre-made. So they come in with your ribbon, with the pins, and um, you just have to take them out of the box and walk down the aisle. Oh my gosh, wow, that is so easy. Mm -hmm. And affordable. Wow, that's awesome. So you do bouquets, boutonnieres, and even the centerpieces too, right? Even the centerpieces. And you know, we can do arch decorations, we can do, and, and that, that whole collection we do for your flower girl, we do her little crown. We do every, it's, it's, it is the affordable option for the couple that does not want to do their own flowers. However, they, they're on a budget. Okay, well, wow. so literally anything flowers that you need for your wedding, you guys have it. Yep, anything flowers, we've got it. And we have the experience. We were, um, just the other day in the office, you know, we, we have a very, we have two different offices. And I think this is important to say, because when you're working with a company and understanding that, you know, flowers are perishable and it's a scary thing to just go on a website and order this without actually seeing it. It's like, you know, you get to taste your cake or you get to touch your linen. Flowers, you know, you can sample your flowers from us and we have a great program for sampling. However, understanding that this is our expertise. 50 Flowers was the disruptor, as I've mentioned before. We are passionate about your wedding flowers. We don't sell flowers right now for anything else. We've been doing this since 2001 and collectively on our staff, we, um, I don't mean to say staff because it's our team, um, collectively, we have over like 750 years of experience in flowers. Oh my gosh. Uh, in between our designers and our, you know, our, our customer care people and our wedding consultants. It's, and that's, that's like what you, by trusting us with your flowers and your flower order, we take it to heart. I can't tell, tell you, Marie, how many times, you know, I have had moments of just, we have to fix that hiccup for that ride. You know, FedEx, the plane literally ran over a box. Oh my gosh. One time. And it, of course, the bride did not hear about that until after her wedding. I wrote her a letter just like, I want to let you know that this is what happened because each and every order is a memory being created. And we take that at heart at 50 Flowers. Yeah, I think that's so amazing that you guys, you focus only on flowers and you really care about making sure that every single order is perfect. So like, of course, it's your big day. So there's no do-overs. There's not a chance to send a replacement. So I love that you guys are just always on top of everything and you don't have to worry because you guys have everything covered. Yes, and we really do. And from the second that you place an order with us, we reach out to you and say, hey, we're here. Even before you place an order with us, if you're confused and you don't even know where to start, I mean, planning a wedding is daunting. There are so many things that you have on your checklist. 
And then there's so much emotional pressure that, okay, being an A-type personality, I put on myself, but then I have to worry about, holy smokes, I have a new mother coming into my life that I need to take, you know, I want to make sure she's happy. And then my own mother and then all the guests, there's like all this pressure that we have on top of ourselves when we, when we begin that, you know, that planning and where to start, you know what, with us, you can reach out to us, call us, look on our website. We have an incredible blog full of all kinds of information. And we also offer um, wedding flower consulting and you can text live chat. Um, you can call, you can email, um, and, you know, look at socials that we have, and, you know, with, with our handle, which is 50flowers.com. We're here to help you and support you and create that dream look for you. Awesome. And mm -hmm. now how does it work exactly? Let's kind of go into the rental, or I'm sorry, the ordering process. So if someone's going to come and buy flowers with 50 flowers, how does it work from start to finish? Well, what I would suggest that would happen is first off, you reach out to us. And you say, hey, I'm looking at ordering flowers and here's, you know, my Pinterest board, which is, and Pinterest has really changed the whole wedding. It helps us communicate. You know, when you say pink flower, there are so many tones of pink. So when you say pink flower and then we can see it on your Pinterest board, we're like, oh, okay, so you want the fuchsia pink, you know, so we, um, which fuchsia is a word that we do not use in our company because my color fuchsia is completely different than what you're thinking about right now in your brain. <laughs> um, however, from the beginning is we help you. We have this really great wedding worksheet, wedding flower worksheet. It's, it's downloadable off of our website and it's just, you know, it's, it's a formula. You put it in and you say, I have my bride, I have this, I have my bridesmaids, I have my, um, you know, my corsages and I, I want five of those corsages. And then we help you with the recipe and with wedding flowers or when you're creating a floral creation, you have your focal flower, which is that one big flower that you see in every arrangement. It's what your eye is drawn to. Then you have your filler flower, which is the, you know, it's the little flowers that fill in the spots. You have your greenery, which are the green, you know, it's the green, it adds the lush to, you know, that texture look to it. And then you have the line filler, which makes the flower, you know, the, the arrangement look much more grandiose because it's, it's drawing the line. So all of this sounds really complicated and it's really not. Um, Granted, I don't want to take away from our floral designers because they do amazing work and what they do is complicated. However, for your wedding, you know, building a hand tied bouquet or a cascading bouquet with an Oasis product, you know, you know, the Oasis, the greenery, it can be done. And especially with practice and confidence, which is what 50 flowers will help you build, you can definitely do your own wedding flowers. And, you know, reflecting back to this wedding worksheet, you fill it out, it tells you you need 250 roses to complete all of your centerpieces, all of this, or let's just say you need 225, okay? You call us, you show us your wedding worksheet, we work through your wedding worksheet with you, and then we say, okay, you have 200 roses that you need, okay? We're gonna suggest that you order at least 10% more because with wholesale flowers, you know, you do have some spoilage. And so instead of, you know, 200, you might order 250. And then we help you place your order. Once your order is placed, we reach out to you and we say, hey, you know what? Let's just say I'm the bride, okay? So, Lisita, for your wedding, what we're going to suggest that you do is we're going to suggest that your oriental lilies that you put into your, into your arrangements, instead of getting them on Thursday, let's go ahead and back it up and get them on Tuesday so they have ample time to make, you know, to go from the, the bud stage to opening up to a beautiful stage. And so then we review every single order that comes through 
we as a team, both my product specialists, as well as my wedding consultants, we look at every single order and we make sure that it's set up for success. Because it is, once again, we go back to, you only have one window of time and that window is very short. And, you know, because we are the experts and we have a lot of predictability, we, we adjust your order around that. Then once your flower order is ready to go, we start to just make sure that you're ready for it, you know, because you're going to need, you know, the space, the buckets, the water, the clippers. And that's where like all of these supply kits come in. We've designed some amazing supply kits with some incredible floral designers that have many, many years and underneath, you know, their, their belts. And along with, you know, we make sure you've got all the supplies to set yourself up for success. We also help coach you on your team. You've got to have a team around you to expect that you as, you know, go back to me on my wedding, you know, week that I'm going to be able to do my own flowers plus, you know, make sure that I'm at all the showers, get my nails done, you know, get my dress fitted for the very last fit, get my hair done, get my makeup done, get all these pictures done, do a rehearsal dinner. There's a lot going on. So we also help you plant those seeds of who's your team that's around you, you know, mm -hmm. and who can help, who can be in charge. And, you know, all of these little tips and tricks, that's what we help you with. And then as the flowers get delivered, we also, text you if you've given us permission to and um we will email you to say hey if you need any help reach out to us we're here for you to support you all along the way so yeah we're, we're i mean you would be amazed at how much hand holding we do for every single order that it it, it doesn't matter the value of the order because we honestly, truly are committed to your memory of that order with us, your memory of flowers with us. That's honestly what drives every single one of our team members. Wow, that's amazing. So you literally have everything covered. You've thought of everything. So it seems like, you know, basically all you need to do is just say, hey, help me get flowers and you yeah. take care of the rest. Wow. You take care. Well, okay. That sounds really easy. That sounds much. No, you've got to cut the flowers and you've got, you know, you get to have the fun of putting the flowers together. You know, in our Boise, Idaho office, we have a bloom studio that every week we're getting flowers in every single week. And it is so much fun to go in there and just play. You get, we help, we set you up so you can play with the flowers and create. Yeah, that's great. So it's almost like they have the recipe to follow and they can make their centerpiece or their bouquets. Yes, yes, completely. And now how hard is it really? I mean, if you're putting together flowers and let's say like me, I've never gotten flowers before in my life. How hard is it really for someone to just be brand new and try to attempt doing their own wedding flowers? Okay, first and foremost, I'm sending you some roses next week. And then you can answer this for yourself. Um, and it's, you know, one thing that I have to say as being the founder and, uh, you know, the CEO, the driver behind a lot here, um, and I'm a driver. I've got a, a, an amazing team here with so many talented people. I have never taken, and I refuse to take a design course. Like there will be mornings that I wake up and I'm like, oh, I should just go like get accredited and take the course and really understand. However, I want to be as raw and inexperienced as our brides are. And I can reflect back to the first wedding that I did. Didn't know anything that I was doing. Okay. First off, I way over ordered and I was happy about that because, you know, it, it just made it easier. It took a lot of pressure off. Second off, you know, designing this whole, you need to build a team around you. It helped me understand your team is extremely important because it, it is a lot of work for one person. However, each person you add on the less, the lesson of the load, you know, the, the load becomes lesser and you make it as hard as you want to make it. 
you know, one of my favorite tablescapes that I do for my friends when they get married. I did this beautiful wedding at the LA Athletic Club. And I ordered in garlands and they're these beautiful eucalyptus garlands that come, you know, the textures, the different textures that I personally made at a farm. And I ordered those in. And I also ordered 25 roses and a bunch of, you know, some filler flower. And literally it was lay it down and they were farmed, you know, they were the long rectangle tables. Just lay that down, put some flowers in it, and it was that easy. Wow. You know, yes, did I make a mess of our hotel room? Because I had to process, you know, I had to get the roses in. I actually did way more than that, but that was the easiest part of it. And decorating the cake, you know, I brought in some spray roses and baby's breath and some greenery. And it was as easy as processing the flowers, then just snipping the flowers off and placing them on the cake. And, you know, it, you make it as difficult as you want to make it. Okay. Wow. So, and yeah. And how does it work, let's say, exactly when you get the flowers, of course, it's going to be the, like, the bulk wholesale group mm -hmm. of flowers. So then what do you exactly do with them once you get all these flowers? So you get these flowers. And the very first thing we have to do is condition the flowers and that's process the flowers. I talk very, like I know what I'm, you know, this, a lot of these fancy industry names, but it's basically cut the flowers and put them in water and watch them trans transform from bud to bloom. We have this one particular flower, it's called an Astromeria and, or Peruvian lily. And on the outside of the flower, right around it, it will be one color. And as it blooms open, it's this lily, it's a completely different color. So, and it shows up looking really ugly. And within three days, it just becomes this beautiful flower. So, you know, you've got to first off take a deep breath when you're going to process your flowers because what you're getting is a wholesale bunch and it is not in bud form. And that miracle of going from bud to bloom is always amazing. Um, I can tell you some really funny stories we've had of, you know, people, you know, our clients calling in and just like, so nervous and it's like just trust us and here's a time-lapse video and you can see the flower go from bud to bloom so you get the flowers you cut them you put them in water you store them in a cool dark place not in direct sunlight not under a draft and you just kind of sit back and wait until your design day comes your design hour comes okay and mm -hmm. then once you go to put them together, how long would you say it takes if we're doing, let's say for each centerpiece that you're putting together, about how much time should people expect to take? You know, it's a tricky question to answer because it all depends on what is, you know, what is your centerpiece? What, what, what are you trying to create? Like, for example, on our website, we have some amazing, I call them plop and drop. You just cut them and you put them in, in your vase. And it's as easy as that. You know, and if you want to create it yourself, the way that my favorite way to do it is an assembly line and I'll have my buckets ready to go. I'll pull in my team and say, okay, team, ready? You're going to take two of these and everything's organized. I have like a little sheet of paper that says two, one, three, seven, nine, you know, whatever amount of stems you take, you take those, you put them together, you know, and everyone is designing and then you just cut them and put them in your vase. Now, if you want to design with the, like the green foam and the oasis and you want to do something much more, you know, elaborate, it's going to take more time. Um, it's, it all just kind of, I mean, it all depends on what are you trying to create? And if I said, you know, I have done weddings of, you know, 35 centerpieces. I've had 10 people helping me. And we also did all of the bridal parties. And from start to finish, we were able to get it out in four hours. And the success of that is understanding, you know, go back to the assembly line. And thank you, Mr. Ford, for teaching us about this, to where you just need to set up the process and then go and, and then walk your team through it, spend the time talking with your team about it, and then just get to work. 
Okay. And now, do you usually recommend doing this at home or do you do that all right at the venue? Um, it depends on your venue, first off. Some venues will allow it, some will not. Um, I would say the majority of our couples are, especially if they're destination couples, they're doing it in their hotel rooms. Um, or, you know, you can set up anywhere as long as the ambiance is not too hot. Heat is not a good thing for flowers and in the direct sunlight, except for the flower. There's no ultimatum with flowers because there are certain flowers that all they want are heat, <laughs> you know. And if you take, you know, if you take a cymbidium orchid or a stephanatus or a gardenia and you put it in the freezing cold, then you're going to be in trouble too. So there's no extremes with, with your flower and your prep okay. environment. Yeah. Yes. Now yes. For people who do want to do it at home and they're going to transport everything to the venue, do you have any kind of tips and tricks for how do you best transport all the flowers? Oh, yes, I do. So we ship our flowers in cardboard boxes. And the great idea is to repurpose those cardboard boxes for transportation. We have an amazing blog on how you can do that and be successful at it. A second thing is, let's just say you're doing mason jars and you're doing baby's breath in mason jars with, you're doing a country look, okay? And you're doing sunflowers with, you know, all this greenery and you build these beautiful bouquet, I mean, centerpieces, and you put them in your mason jar, okay? You wanna make sure there's enough water in it. However, when you're transporting, remove the majority of that water. So you have a very little amount of the water because as you're going over a speed bump, which speed bumps are everywhere, that water can splash around. So make sure that you limit the amount of water in your vessels that your centerpieces are in when you're transporting. Okay, yeah, that's such a great point. So good. Yes. And yeah. I'm sure you must have so many little tips and tricks. Any other pointers you want to give someone who is looking to do DIY flowers and they don't you know, know a whole lot about it? Well, um, I could talk forever about it. Um, a pointer is just call us. We'll help you 100%. However, I, you know, we, Marie, you and I talked a lot about centerpieces before we, um, as we were talking about this, this, this podcast. And one thing that I think is really important is to understand that, you know, a professional tip and trick around your centerpiece is you don't want to have it too low and you don't want to have well you don't want to have it in the middle to where you cannot have that connection with the people sitting at the table so you want to make sure it's low enough but not too low that it doesn't give that grandiose look or high enough to where you can you can connect with the people across the table from you oh i have a lot of tips and tricks i could talk about um with the the many years and the many um, mistakes I personally have made um, but you know you can do your own wedding flowers and you know we're here to help reach out we'll help you you know it's 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 our passion at 50 flowers awesome yeah I love that I think this is just such a great resource for anyone who wants beautiful flowers but they've got a more limited budget I think this is just such a smart thing to do just do it yourself and it sounds like you guys really walk people through the process and you make it something that really anyone can do definitely yes it's our passion you know and it's not only you know we're trending to see a lot more intimate weddings with the limitations of gatherings and you know we've got excellent solutions for that as well you know it might be the your you're thinking, oh, I'm just doing a very intimate, you know, it's just, you know, the two of us standing in front of, you know, a, a sworn someone who can marry us. Guess what? You can still hold a beautiful bouquet that you don't have to go out and buy. It gets pre-made for you. It gets shipped to you. And, you know, it's, it's beautiful. And it, once again, when you reflect back on your pictures, you're going to see those beautiful flowers. And that will bring back warm and fuzzy well at least it does for me i can't say for everybody it brings back the beauty of our you know of, of the wedding definitely yeah i think flowers are such a key element they just really beautify everything so absolutely i think flowers are a must. yes they're going to accent the beautiful couple definitely
Well, good. Well, mm -hmm. how about other resources? So for our couples that are listening and they're looking for just, you know, more resources out there to help them with their wedding planning, is there anything that you recommend checking out? Well, there are two, and one of them is going to be very specific. Um, well, they're very, it's not like a, um, it, there are two. Um, the first one is one thing that I've seen a lot of come, and it is, it's a game changer for your wedding are the 3D planning tools that venues are offering. I mean, that really helps your, it helps you map out and understand the feel and the look of the room. And it makes it, it takes all the guesswork out of it. Like, you know, reflecting back to what we said about the centerpiece. Well, guess what? You can plop a huge, beautiful, tall centerpiece on it and you can see, can you connect with the, you know, with, with the, the guest across from you. So I think that the 3D planning tools that are offered are amazing. I don't have one specific that I'm in love with because it's very specific to the different market that you're in. And then, you know, a resource that is extremely important is either a wedding planner or a day of wedding planner. And I could list like 50 of them that I know that they are amazing because they really keep the wedding flowing. You know, they make sure that that list of pictures that you gave your photographer, he really takes the look of, you know, he, that your future husband watching you walk down, you know, for the first time that he sees you. So um, a day of wedding planner is, and it, it's invaluable if you ask me. Mm -hmm. And my husband. And should I say, yeah. Yeah, definitely agree. Yes. Awesome. Well, those are such great tips and resources. Ron, how can they get in touch with you over at 50 Flowers? Well, we're on every social channel, um, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and our website, of course, our blog, 50flowers.com. And if you want to get in touch with me personally, I've started my own brand, which is the Flower CEO. And you can reach out to me on all the, all the flower, I mean, all the social channels as well. Um, my handle is 50, I mean, the Flower CEO. Well, I'm really excited that we can share all this with our viewers and our watchers out there. So yeah. thank you yes. so much, Lisa. I really appreciate you Definitely. being here and talking DIY flowers. Yeah, well, well, thank you so much, Marie. I'm so happy to connect with you. And I love your business. Love your business. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to save money on your wedding with DIY flowers. Now, don't forget, you can catch all of our episodes over at transformyourwedding.com. This podcast is brought to you by Rent My Wedding, your one-stop shop for event rentals. Order online and rentals are delivered right to your door. Shipping is free both ways nationwide. Rent lighting, backdrops, photo booths, and more. With the most five-star reviews in the industry, Rent My Wedding makes rentals easy and affordable. Book your rentals today at www.rentmywedding.com.